Hey good people, I am traveling right now and I've got some important information. I had posted this, this is the um, EMF activation of um, these calcium gates that are um, controlled by voltage. So the energy waveforms that are coming from the wireless everywhere is hitting in our cells. This is a cell, this is the, the calcium channel here. Um, gets stimulated and too much calcium goes in the cell and it creates this chain reaction. It's affecting nitric oxide and it converts in some different, um, uh, into some different uh, elements. And then it makes it into these uh, oxygen elements that are uh, damaging, they're called free radicals. And, and this process is, is uh, called oxidative stress. It's at the root of most of our diseases. So fatigue and irritability and um, cell death and cancer and all these things are related to oxidative stress and, and the cells dying. So uh, what I've been doing is breathing hydrogen. This is a little chart on uh, when you breathe hydrogen. This is how fast until you saturate all, all of the, uh, like this is the liver, the brain, um, the kidney, and then these are the muscle cells. So um, this is like a little chart. So I breathe it for uh, as long as I can, about an hour. I usually have been feeling amazing. If I'm traveling, I bring a hydrogen water bottle. This is from Q Life. It's called the uh, Q Life Max. And so you press this button, it turns on, and these little bubbles come in. And so when I'm traveling, I drink this because what this is is an antioxidant. This gets to all the cells. And not as good as breathing, but it's better than nothing. And uh, so you, you, you know, drink it, it affects the gut directly and eventually works its way into the body. Drink this three times a day and you can run this twice and it's, it's twice as strong as um, most of the other uh, bottles out there. It's designed that you can run it, run it twice. So I'm going to drink this and then because the nitric oxide here uh, is affected from the EMS, um, our nitric oxide is getting low and this is in every cell and this affects everything it affects our hormones you know, testosterone estrogen um, it, it, It's amazing if you look up nitric oxide. I just listened to a talk with Beth Shirley on the EMF summit hosted by um, Nick and uh, I posted that on my Facebook page the link to it. Um, I, I got the recordings. I've been listening to all the experts and um, before I actually listened to this I um, was inspired because I follow my inner guidance and I got these supplements here. This is called L-citrulline and this increases, uh, this is like, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's an amino acid, um, but I've been taking it and wow, it really does affect my energy levels. It is boosting my nitric oxide and I have these little test strips that I got from Berkeley Life. You can test your nitric oxide to see where you're at and my whole family's low. Um, the other thing is arugula. This is the easy way, uh, natural way. So I've been just eating handfuls of arugula. My energy is high. I've had no caffeine. I've had no, no stimulants. My sleep actually wasn't that great. I had to stay in a hotel and I moved the bed off of the wall and unplugged everything. And I had relatively good sleep. The air, air quality wasn't that good in there, um, you know, for a variety of reasons, but so my sciences were a little stuffed up, but I got pretty good sleep. Um, I've been exercising, doing jumping jacks, getting the oxygen, doing my breath work while I'm breathing. Um, so I'm doing pretty good. But what's funny is I stopped here to go pee and I'm at a Starbucks and right next to it is, is an AT&T cell phone store. And right behind there is a big cell phone tower. And I, I keep thinking about this. And this is why I want to make this video is that we are all, we're over caffeinated as a society and I don't want to drink caffeine anymore because it makes me snappy. It makes me, it actually makes me like, like too, too energized and then I crash and I like the feeling of like a steady energy. I like this natural high and I don't like to be stressed. I want to be relaxed because when I'm relaxed, I feel the love of the universe and everything is flowing and everything's beautiful and magic happens. And that's the state that I want to live and I want everyone else to live in. So boosting our nitric oxide to keep our energy levels high and then also drinking hydrogen or breathing hydrogen to prevent oxidative stress, cell death, uh, to keep our body optimal. 
It's really important in this environment, but long-term, it's time to uh, look at this wireless experiment. I mean, this has only been going on for you know a, a decade or two at this level. It keeps notching, getting notched up. When cell phones first came out, the cell phone radiation was really low and people were sensitive to it. And people were sounding the alarm, but a lot of people said it's not real. In, in the scientific debate, I'm listening to all this right now. But we keep increasing the level of radiation with a meter, it's way higher. Um, each generation we go up with the technology, with the phones, that they keep pumping out more because the batteries are stronger, have more capacity, so we're sending out more signals. There's more devices on top of that. And so more and more people are getting sensitive. I got super sick from it. It was a combination of the cell phones and also I'm, I'm close to some power lines in my backyard and that was affecting me. So I got overexposed. And I know a lot of people are experiencing this. And I just think, so, we're at a crossroads is where if we just keep increasing our exposure, more and, pe more and more people are going to have just low energy, get irritable, and need to be over caffeinated. And that has its own consequences for our society. So I'm just feeling kind of agitated. I'm just like, can't take it anymore. So I had to kind of vent. So thanks for listening. Um, yeah, just our society. Our society doesn't have to be over caffeinated. It doesn't have to be stressed out. It doesn't have to be... Um, sick i mean and, you know and the food the food issue is a whole nother thing <laughs> i can't believe i'm driving through georgia actually and th this place is is uh feels really uncomfortable feels really unstable the whole space um and that's related to vastu that's a whole nother talk of the uh the slope of the land that the indians knew and that sound is um the sound that my hydrogen is done. So I'm going to take my hydrogen. I'm going to have my citrulline. Take two of these. I'm also taking uh, chlorella tablets. These are organic chlorella. chlorella. And uh, this is good to take. It has natural B12 in it. Chlorophyll, which has its many things, has a bunch of uh, vitamins in it and minerals. And it's also a good detoxer. So, um, you know, we're exposed to the exhaust. I've got my air circulation on, so I'm not breathing exhaust. I do have an air filter in here in my truck, actually, um, to use if necessary. But man, I feel like I feel like life's a war zone. I can't believe this is our reality. Like, yeah, I've had to bring all my organic food, stop at organic place, eat eat my own food. Um, and if I look around, most people are like kind of out of it, overweight. Um, I mean, there are definitely some healthy people. It seems like younger people because their bodies are resilient. I remember when I was youthful, I felt invincible. But now that I'm 40, it's like, I got to take care of myself. So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, please share this. Get the word out about what's going on with, you know, this. this these are our cells. This is the processes that happen in our cells. There's too much calcium in there. And the, body, the cell needs to have a balance of electrolytes. So it create it to keep itself in a balance to protect the cell. It goes through this process that reduces nitric oxide. It increases oxidative stress. And hydrogen mixes with the oxygen and neutralizes it into water. So that's the magic of hydrogen. Got to have our hydrogen if we're in, in a modern society. Otherwise, our cells are going to be dying. Um, it's going to affect all of our organs. It's going to cause disease, fatigue. Also, the nitric oxide causes fatigue and hormonal imbalances, um, brain fog. There's a lot going on. So if you don't want to be addicted to caffeine and you don't want to be stressed out, take care of yourself. Get your nitric oxide up. Um, also, re just turn off the Wi-Fi. Just turn off the Wi-Fi. You don't need it anymore. Plug your internet in. You can do it through Ethernet. You can figure it out. I've made some other videos on this. The information's out there if you want to find it. Um, turn your phone off. Turn your phone to airplane mode. Plug it in when you need it. Or just turn it on briefly. Check your messages and turn it off to airplane mode. That's what I do. Just reduce your exposure as much as you can. That's the, really the best way is to just reduce our exposure to the wireless. And then also at nighttime when we're sleeping, you can take your bed away from the wall or you can turn the electricity off at your breaker and your your body will sleep a lot better at night. Um, and then I'm on a trip right now. I'm looking for land. I'm looking for the promised land. I want to find a place that doesn't have cell phone reception and gets good sun exposure, has clean water, and then it'll be a place that people can come and re get, uh, you know, get restored to 
relax and heal and um, that's what's been my saving grace just going camping getting away and um, I put in shielding on my RV along the windows and so the the signals even if they're low around it, it's like this low level anxiety but I can get my signals uh, on the meter into the zero in my RV but I'm hoping I can just find an area in the woods somewhere that's it is zero so I'm on a hunt I brought my meters hopefully I can find it that's my mission right now I don't know what's going to go on with society I just I don't want to live for many years in this like stress filled anxiety ridden space i don't know this is not what we're made for and this is not how we're supposed to be living so sorry if i feel stressed i am i just i've just there's a fat fire in me <laughs> i just gotta i just had to vent i had to vent there's so much i wanted to say i've been listening for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of the emf summit and all the experts and everything they had to say and the evidence is clear. The evidence is clear. So um, eat your arugula. Eat your arugula. Beets are good too. Celery's good. Um, but there's the oxalate issue. You don't want to do too many beets. There are supplements for nitric oxide. I think Berkeley Life makes one. It's kind of pricey, but I believe it's, um, I, I'm sure it's effective. Beth Shirley, the one who did the, the talk, um, she's their lead scientist. So you could look her up if you want to learn more about nitric oxide and just the actual chemical processes that go on. It's pretty fascinating stuff. It's hard for me to follow her, um, but I, I'm, I, I understand what she's trying to say, but well-researched stuff, lots of science and facts to back it all up. Um, the, with, this, with this citrulline, I just tried this and uh, I've been trying this for a few days and I definitely noticed a difference. I have a lot more endurance, a lot more energy. And um, my partner, she was feeling really tired one day and um, I gave her one of these pills the next morning and she just like had so much energy. She's like, she's like, oh my God. She's like, I haven't eaten all morning. <laughs> and she was outside working in the yard and just really motivated and really happy. And so that was really cool. And I, and I guess this supplement is used by bodybuilders. So they use it to get the pump on and uh, you too, you can too. It's not, it's not, it's not crazy. Like I don't feel like jacked on this stuff, but it just feels like I just, Feel like youthful again and that's also how i feel in the woods when i'm away from all this my natural energy comes up i just feel joyous last day camping i felt like my heart was a flower just blossoming and just everything was great and beautiful and it just like i had a spring in my step and all was well and i look forward to having that and i want other people to feel that too and and that's how we're supposed to live we're supposed to be just feeling like it's just a good dream you know and so no more bad dreams I'll, I'll at least have good dreams okay love you